going on guys? Josh here from Momentum Productions and today I want to show you my favorite cinematic moves that you can perform on your slider. Now a slider is an extremely useful filmmaking tool and I feel like every single filmmaker needs one of these sliders. So when it comes down to buying a slider you don't necessarily have to spend a lot of money on one. In fact most sliders are very affordable. However you also don't want to buy a cheap slider. Doing so may make your shots look like they're amateur. Now what slider am I using for this video? This is a chameleon slider from a company called Photon Accessories. They're located in Poland and they sent me the slider last year. I did a review on this already so you can check it out right here in this link. Unfortunately this slider is not available on Amazon, but I will link to another slider which I think will be sufficient enough for you guys to get the same exact shots that I'm getting in this video. First things first, we're going to cover three different types of sliding shots. The first one being is the simple side to side. Then we're going to cover the diagonal slide. And lastly, the boom shot. This is the most complicated shot in this video. So we're going to have to place the slider in a vertical position. And this is only possible if you're using a ball mount. Again, I'm going to leave a lot of accessories in the description box below. So make sure you check out those links. So a slide to slide or side to side type of shot with a slider makes your footage much more dynamic. It's much better than shooting a static shot, which a lot of the time can be very stale. So that's why I love using a slider. So if you don't have a motorized slider, I want to show you some proper hand placements in order for you guys to get some very consistent shots. First things first, we have to place one hand on one side of the slider, second hand on the other side of the slider. You want to keep your elbows into your sides and not flaring out because that can actually tire out your shoulders and eventually make your arms shake and you'll be able to see that shake in your footage. And you can somewhat rest your palms on the cradle of the slider. You're adding some pressure on there and you can actually make your shots even more consistent and fluid. When you're shooting a side to side shot, it's important to have some sort of object maybe as an obstacle in front of the camera's lens. That way we can properly see movement. Make sure there's something soft in the foreground. Maybe it could be blurred out with the shallow depth of field or you can even focus on that foreground and then pull focus to focus on another subject. It's all up to you. You can get extremely creative here. Next, let's talk about the diagonal slanted shot with a slider. Basically, our slider is going to look like this. One end is going to be lower than the other. All right, let's set this thing up. Now, when you're using a long slider like this one here, this is a 48 inch slider, it's important to have support rods. That way your tripod doesn't tip over. You can also use two tripods, placing one on each end of the slider. Depends on your preference. So let's remove our camera first, just in case anything tips over. We want to make sure that our most important piece of equipment doesn't, uh, doesn't fall here. And now we can make our adjustments. Just so the camera doesn't block my face while I talk, I'm going to leave it off for this next part of the video. Again, similar techniques here, one hand on each side of the cradle and slowly going up, using the palm of your hand as friction. What is the point of this shot? Well, take a look at this shot here where I'm showcasing these stairs. You can make these stairs seem extremely creepy. This is a well-known shot used in a ton of horror movies and suspense films. It's also a great way to showcase the stairs and the subject that is using the stairs. Also take note of how I keep the rails of the stairs in focus while everything else is blurred out. This adds a mysterious look to the footage. You can see why I love using a motorized slider. All you have to do is program the movements in the computer module and then press start. In some cases you can even get more stable shots since the motor is much more consistent than you are when it comes down to motion. It doesn't speed up and it doesn't slow down during the shot. It just stays at one constant speed. So keep that in mind and maybe you can invest in a motorized slider as well. And by the way, motorized sliders can also allow you to capture motion time lapses, but we'll talk about that in another tutorial. Now let's go and talk about the boom shot. We're going to set the slider into a complete vertical position. It's extremely important to have a ball head. This is what allows us to go in a complete vertical position on our slider. So here's what our setup looks like when we are in the vertical or boom shot position. Remember that this is a very dangerous position for your camera because if you're not careful, it will slide down, possibly tipping over your whole entire setup and breaking something. So make sure you constantly keep one hand 
under the cradle at all times and one supporting it off to the side. Remember to always keep your tensioner engaged when you are not touching the cradle on the slider. That way it won't slide on its own. Using a similar technique as earlier, having the palm of my hand go against the rail of the slider, causing some extra friction, allowing me to keep consistency with my speed. This is probably my favorite type of shot because it's kind of abstract. We're not used to seeing cameras going up and down in a vertical position, at least not in my eyes. Also, feel free to change the depth of field and the point of focus. All right guys, well that's my video on my favorite cinematic shots with a slider. Again, don't forget to check out the links for the accessories I used in the description box below along with the slider. And also give this video a big like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel with notifications on. I can't wait to see what you create and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.